Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new tutorial series where I'm going to be showing you how to build an AI chatbot in Python. Now, it's a very simple chatbot, but it does actually use neural networks and deep learning, which means it is slightly intelligent, but it's also very easy to kind of get working and get testing, which a lot of the other chatbot tutorials I've seen uh, are not that easy, or at least I've tried to follow along with them and I can't get all the way through. So I'm hoping that you guys are going to be able to get through this with me. If you have any questions throughout the tutorials, feel free to leave a comment down below. Maybe myself or someone else would be able to help you. You can also join my Discord server where um, people are always answering questions and helping each other out. So let's talk about what this chatbot is, how it works, and our approach to kind of doing this throughout this tutorial. So essentially what I wanted to do was create a chatbot that was used for a specific purpose. So not just like a general chatting bot, but something that maybe could help you answer questions about your business or maybe be a Q&A bot that answered like trivia questions or something like that. Or maybe a chatbot that uh, your customers would type to and it gives them some kind of answer. So really more uh, an application based chatbot than just like talking in general. Now you can also make this chatbot talking, but I'm going to show you right now how you customize it uh, and how it kind of works. So this is my chatbot running right now. This stuff will not be in like the final version. This is just kind of the testing version. So I haven't gone too far with it, but you can see, for example, if I type like, Hey, it's going to respond with hello. If I say like, what's up, I got hi there. How can I help you? And just to note, these things that I'm typing in are not hard coded into the chatbot, which means it's kind of figuring out what I'm asking and giving me an appropriate response. Uh, if I say like, how's your day? You can see um, we get two responses just because it wasn't sure what I was typing there. And then it says, good to see you again. So it's really easy to fine tune this chat, but we'll talk about that later. But let's do some more examples. So if I say like, uh, what is your name? It says, I'm Tim. Or I say like, what should I call you? I'm Tim, aka Tech with Tim. Now I set this up to kind of answer like some questions about a business. So I like if I ask what or when are you open? Let's say that. Let me say we are open 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. And you can code kind of whatever questions and whatever responses you want into this chatbot and make it as specific to your own use as you want. And that's one of the reasons that I really want to show this one because it's super customizable and you guys can very easily change it and we'll show you how it works. So last thing I'll say like what is on the menu? I'm pretending this is like a cookie shop. I know it's a ridiculous shop, but you guys get the point. And it says cookies are on the menu. If I say how much uh, is a cookie? It says 18 years young because I haven't coded anything that would like take in this response and, and make sense of that. Um, so anyways, that's kind of how the chatbot works. You can see that it's obviously not amazing and it made a few simple mistakes, but there's ways to tweak this and fix this and we'll be going through and kind of understanding how this works. Uh, so let's close this up for right now and let's go to the data that our chatbot sees. So that chatbot that you guys just were looking at is trained on just this little bit of information. Uh, now this actually wasn't trained into there. That's why it didn't work when I said how much is a cookie because I hadn't trained the chatbot for that. Um, I just added that. But anyways, you guys will see we have what's known as a bunch of intents and then you can see we have patterns and responses. So the patterns are what likely the user would type in. So for example, you could see, hi, how are you? Is anyone there? Hello, good day, what's up? And then the response is an appropriate response to that kind of question or whatever the user typed. Now you can kind of see as we go through the different examples how they work. But notice that I didn't type exactly what was typed here and the chatbot still came up with an appropriate answer for most of the things that I asked uh, within within reason if the chapel was trained on that, right? Um, like some of the things when I asked these here, I didn't use the exact same thing. It just figured it out and kind of worked. And that's what we're going to be aiming for in this series. So we have essentially a group of intents and what our chatbot is going to attempt to do is take our message in and figure out what intent we want. Are we greeting? Are we saying goodbye? Are we asking for the age? Do we want name? Do we want the shop? Do we want the hours? That's what it's going to try to figure out. Now, this is really nice because a lot of other chatbots actually generate a text response. But you'll notice if you use any other chatbots that are really complex, they oftentimes make mistakes and what they say doesn't really make sense. So with this one, you know, you're going to get an output that makes some kind of sense because you're hard coding the outputs. And you can also determine kind of how the chatbot works more specifically because you can code in 
all of the different intents. So you can say, well, if I want this chatbot just to be maybe about um, selling like my knitting or something like that, then you can code whatever would make sense for a user to type to that chatbot and anything else. Um, we could just have like another intent section. There should be like, I don't understand what you're saying, or please ask another question or something like that. So with all that being said, that is how the chatbot works. It's pretty simple in the next few tutorials, we're going to get through it and you guys will have a working chatbot that's fully customizable, but let's talk about what we need to download and install to get this working. So obviously we're going to be using Python, but we need to install a few Python modules. Now, for this tutorial, we need to be working with Python version 3.6. Now 3.7 currently has a bug in it where it doesn't work with the TF learn module that I want to use for this tutorial. So make sure you guys are running Python 3.6. If you're, if you can, and you're not running Anaconda or anything like that, uninstall any version of Python you have right now and reinstall or install Python 3.6. Okay. If you want to see what version of Python you're running, just type Python and it will pop up your version. You can see my version is 3.7, but I'm not going to be using that version because I'm going to be using Conda or Anaconda, which has Python 3.6 for it. If you're using Conda to create a new environment that has Python 3.6, just do Conda create hyphen n, give it a name. In this case, I just named mine chatbot and then say Python equals 3.6. I'm not going to go in depth with how all this stuff works. I'm just trying to get you guys set up. Now, if you're using Conda, activate that environment. So in this case, I already have one called chatbot. So I'm going to activate it. If you're not using Conda, just type whatever I'm about to type uh, in the command prompt like this. Okay. So what we're going to do is we need to install some modules. So we're going to use pip. And the first module we need to install is uh, NLTK. Now this is natural language toolkit, which is going to give us some nice functions to do some things with our words and trim them down and all that stuff. So install this. I already have it installed. So I'm just going to leave that. If for some reason your pip isn't working, I have a tutorial on my channel. It's called how to install Pygame. That will show you how to fix your pip. I'll leave a card to it in the top corner of the screen right now. So we'll do pip install um, NLTK. Now we'll pip install NumPy. Uh, this is just going to be used for some array management and stuff like that. Then after that, we're going to do pip install TF learn. By the way, you should be hitting enter here. I'm just not because I already have it installed. And finally, we're going to pip install TensorFlow like that. Now, if any of this doesn't work, uh, leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer you. Go on Stack Overflow, try to figure out the error. But all of these commands should work if you're running Python 3.6 and you have pip working correctly on your machine. Now that we have that, it is time to go to our main Python file and just start working with a little bit of code. And actually, sorry, before we go to that, I'm just going to talk about uh, this intense file one last time and how you guys need to be creating this. So if you're following along and you want to follow along exactly with me, you can download this intent file. There will be a link in the description. It may not be up right away. Remind me if you guys don't see it and I will add it into the description or just copy out the format that I have here by typing it out. So if you want to start with just like one tag or something like that, that's fine. Just do intense, make sure that it looks the same. So it has this squiggly bracket colon, and then there's a list like this. It just like a Python dictionary. And then we have dictionaries inside of here separated by commas. And those have tag pointing to whatever the tag is and then patterns pointing to a list response pointing to a list in this context underscore set pointing to nothing right now, which we will change later. Uh, so that's what you need to do. You need to get this kind of structure and make sure you save this file as a dot JSON file inside of your main Python directory or whatever your script is. So in this case, I'm going to be working in main.py this is inside a folder. So that means that the intense.json needs to be beside it or in the same directory as it so that we can, you know, work with it and load it in properly. So now we're going to start doing some imports and just reading in some of our JSON data. So we're going to say import NLTK. We're going to say from NLTK dot stem dot Lancaster import LAN caster stemmer. Now I just messed up the capitals on that. Uh, so we'll fix that now. Now this is just going to be used to stem our words, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. And we're going to say stemmer equals in this case, Lancaster stemmer like that. And we'll, de we'll deal with that after. Uh, now we're going to import numpy. So just go import numpy. We're going to import TF learn, import TF learn, we're going to import tensorflow. We're going to import random and we're going to import JSON. Now what we're going to do is use JSON to read in this file and just loop through some of it and see all of our data and how we read that into the Python script because we need to use that to train our model. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to say with open. And in this case, we're just going to type the name of our file. So in this case, intense.json, we're going to say as file. Now we're going to say data equals, in this case, should be JSON dot load and then file. So now if we print out data, we should be seeing like a Python dictionary that looks exactly like this. So let's try that. I'm just going to CD uh, into my directory here and run the Python script. If you guys are using IDLE or whatever, that's fine. It, this this will work the same. CD into simple chatbot and then just go Python main.py. I don't think that's going to work. Maybe it will. Okay, so there we go. So that worked. And now you can see that we have kind of this JSON data. It's all bunched up and we can start accessing some of it. So notice now if I do data and I type intense, because that is what we've named this right here, it should just show us all of the dictionaries as opposed to that main dictionary. So let's run this now and let's see what we get. And now you can see that we're getting all of these uh, different lists. So we have tag, greeting, patterns, all of that. And we can start accessing this just like we would access a Python dictionary. So what we need to do now is we need to get all of these patterns and figure out what uh, group they're in. So in this case, we're calling these tags, but it could also be just groupings. We're gonna need to get the responses and we just need to load all of that in. So what I'm gonna do now is just start looping through this JSON data and doing just that. So we're gonna say words equals a blank list. We're gonna say classes, or actually we'll not want to class, we'll do labels. Labels equals a blank list. We'll say docs equals that and there we go so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say for intent in data and then in this case we're going to say intent now what this is going to do is loop through all of these dictionaries for us now the way that works is because we're looking at this list because we're saying data intents and then we're saying for every single intent in here, which will give us all of these dictionaries, which would be really easy and nice to loop through all of these different patterns and all of that. So now what we're going to do, we're going to say for, in this case, pattern in intent. And now remember, this is a dictionary, so we access the patterns by just doing patterns. We're going to do something specific with these patterns, and this is known as stemming. Now, this is the first part where we actually start understanding some of this kind of machine learning AI stuff for our chatbot. Now, what stemming does is it's going to take each word that's in our pattern. So let's look at the words here and bring it down to the root word, which means that, for example, is anyone there? Well, if we're looking at the word there, we're going to say there, the root word of there question mark is just there. So we're going to remove this question mark. If we have something like what's up, we're going to change this to just be what instead of uh, what's right. Cause we're going to get the root of the word. Now, the reason we get the root of the word is because when we're training our uh, model and are training our bot, we don't really care about the other things attached to the word. We just care about the main meaning of the word. So by eliminating extra characters and things that might make the word different, it's making our model that much more accurate because we're going to ignore things that could stray the model in the wrong direction. You guys understand more about how this works in future tutorials. Now, to get all of the different words in our, in our patterns and to stem them, we need to do something called tokenize. Now, what tokenize means is just get all the words in our pattern. It's the same thing as just splitting it by a space and getting all these different words, but NLTK has a nice thing that does it for us. So we're going to use that and we're just going to say uh, words or we'll do like WRDS equals in this case, NLTK dot uh, word underscore tokenizer, I think it is. Let's say, or just tokenize. And then we're going to put pattern. Now this is going to return to us a list with all of the different words in it. And now what we're going to do is we're simply going to put all of these tokenized words into our words list. Now, the reason we do this uh, is because we want to know all of the different words that are in our intense file. And we'll, we'll talk about that a bit later, um, but that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to say words uh, dot extend. And in this case, WRDS. Now, the reason we do this is because this is already a list. So rather than looping through it and appending each one in, we can just extend the list, which means we're going to add all of those words in. So now that we've done that, the next thing that we need to do is we're going to add to our docs the pattern of words. Now, 
what we're going to do to do this, we're going to say docs dot append. And in this case, we're just going to append the pattern like that. Uh, and that's all we need to do for that. Now, finally, we're going to say if intent in this case, tag, which uh, or yeah, intent tag, which will give us like these goodbye greetings, age name uh, in, let's say labels or not in labels is what we need to do. My bad say not in labels, then we're going to say labels dot append. And in this case, intent tag. Now, this way, we're just going to get all of the different tags that we have. So greeting, goodbye, age, name. Um, I guess we don't really need to do it like this per se, we can just say, if intent tag not in labels, labels dot append intent, I don't know why I had that in the for loop in my other thing, this should just work fine, though to do that for us. Okay, sweet. So that's actually all we need to do right now for loading in all of our words and our labels and getting our documents ready with all the different patterns. So I'm going to leave the tutorial here. In the next video, what we're going to do is do a little bit more on this data pre processing. And then we'll start working on creating our model and our training data and how all that's going to work for our chat bot. So if you guys enjoyed, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you again in the next video.